Todd White is a very popular Christian evangelist, pastor, author, and speaker who is especially known for his healing ministry. He has millions of followers across social media. And three and a half years ago, he actually tried to heal me and failed. So my mom, sister, and a few cousins of mine live on the island of Kauai. And in the summer of 2018, my mom paid for me to come visit them for a couple of weeks. So she invited me over, of course, to be with her, but she also wanted me to teach her and her friends from her church how to share the gospel biblically. So one night I was there and I was teaching them how to share the gospel. And one of the ladies, one of my mom's friends mentions, have any of you heard of Todd White? And at the time I had never heard of him. I remember doing a little bit of research that night and I noticed that there were some genuine genuine concerns, but I really didn't know anything about who he was or his ministry still. Now, as God would have it, the very next day, I was at the beach with my mom and sister and also with her friends. Now, the beaches in Kauai are very unique. Many of them actually have rivers that flow straight to the beach and straight into the ocean, and it's just beautiful. So you'll often actually have like a lake area right behind the beach with a river on the side, and then you have the ocean. So I remember that I was in the ocean just coming back to the shore. My mom comes up to me and she says, Todd White's actually here. It turns out that Todd White actually visits Kauai every now and then, which I had no idea about, of course. Out of all the days and out of all the places he could be, he just happened to be there at that time, the very day after I had heard about him for the first time. So anyways, I look over to the lake area and I see Todd White there. I had looked him up so I knew what he looked like. I saw his long dreads. He was standing next to another man and there was a group of nine or 10 people that were all in a circle in the lake area. The water is about up to your waist or so and they were all just fellowshipping there. So I walked in and I joined the circle. Somehow John MacArthur got brought up. I don't remember how, but I remember mentioning that I had been to John MacArthur's church a couple of times, two times before exactly. And once I said, said that, the air of the whole conversation changed. Todd White and his friend looked at me and Todd said to me, oh, they hate me there, bro. They hate me there. And then what happened was Todd White's right-hand man started addressing me and went off on like a solid three minute, you could almost call it rant, about how healing is an essential component of the gospel and of evangelism. Now, of course, God still heals today. I have seen God do wonderful miracles. I believe that Todd White's friend was taking it further than the bounds of scripture allow. Now, after Todd White's friend finished speaking, someone there spoke up because he had some pain going on in his ear and he wanted Todd to heal it. Todd White goes, hey everyone, let's pray for him. Then Todd White looks me in the eyes and he says, I want you to be the one who puts your hand on his ear and prays over him. Now, even though I was a little bit suspicious, we are absolutely called to pray for people to be healed. There's many passages in the Bible that call for us to lay hands on people as we heal them too. So I had no problem whatsoever. I had all the faith in the world that God could immediately heal his ear. So I absolutely went forward, put my hand on his ear, and then Todd White put his hand on mine and everyone put their hands on top of mine and we all prayed together. Todd White was praying over his ear, praying, 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 like he does in many of his healing videos. And then he would stop and he would say, how's your ear feeling? And he said, uh, feels the same. He said, okay, we'll keep praying. Keeps praying, keeps praying, keeps praying. How does your ear feel now? And he goes, I think it feels the same. He goes, all right, we're gonna pray again. And he kept doing this over and over again until eventually he was like, okay, I think it's starting to get better. He's like, all right, come on, let's keep praying. And so eventually it ends with him being like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it feels better. Yeah, thank you so much. And he seemed happy about it. He seemed like he was saying, yeah, that it did sort of feel better. In Acts chapter three, we're told of a man who was lame from birth, which means that he couldn't walk. In Acts chapter three, verses six through seven, Peter says, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up and immediately, immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Notice how the healing happened instantly. Then the next instance of healing in the book of Acts is in Acts chapter nine. God tells Ananias to go and lay his hands on Saul to have his sight restored. So in Acts chapter nine, verses 17 through 18, it says this. So Ananias departed and entered the house and laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road by which you came has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight. 
Again, the healing was right away. It wasn't, oh, how are you feeling? Are, are you feeling any less blind? Oh, let me pray again. It was instant. When people possessed the power to heal after Jesus' ministry, his apostles, the healing always occurred instantly whenever they attempted it. There was never a failed attempt, and it was always instant in every case in the Word of God. So anyways, Todd White eventually approaches me. Everyone else is kind of doing their own thing. And he comes up to me, he wades in the water, and it's just me and him now, his eyes are locked on mine. And he says to me, is there any problems or any pain in your left ankle? By God's grace, I have no issues with my ankles and they were completely fine. So I told him, no, I don't have any pain in my left ankle. And he said, did you play any sports in high school? You know, any, any physical contact sports? I said, no, not really. I played junior varsity basketball, but that's it. He said, so any injuries from any sports, believe it or not, I actually do have an injury from sports and it's right here on my middle finger. As you can see, my middle finger is crooked and this is a permanent injury that I have. I was playing football with my friends after school and one day when I went to catch the football, I messed up and the football actually landed right on my middle finger and cause it to be permanently angled like this. Doctors said they can fix it, but it's expensive and it's painful. It doesn't cause me any pain, it's just cosmetic. So I've never got the surgery. Okay, I noticed that the camera kept locking onto my face and not my fingers, but here you go so that you can actually see the bend a little bit more, if that's helpful at all. And no, I wish I was just holding there, but that's just where it naturally goes back to. And so I showed him this finger, I showed it to him, and I said, so I do have this injury from sports. And I remember his exact response and reaction after I pointed out this very obvious physical injury that I had. He went just like this. Okay. And looked off to the side and continued on in the conversation, never once addressing this issue that I had with my middle finger. He just moved on like nothing happened. Unfortunately, what false healers do is they will never heal issues that are extremely obvious. Otherwise, their scheme would be exposed. They only heal issues that people can't see, like, oh, my back hurts now, it feels better. Unfortunately, there's a lot of healings that can be faked. He knew that my finger is a very clear and obvious physical injury and that he would not be able to actually heal it since his healings are not authentic. And even when he does perform these so-called healings, he doesn't even share the gospel with people afterwards. If there was a real healer from God who had this gift, he would use it to point people to Christ. Jesus himself said, it's better to go to heaven with one eye than to go to hell with both eyes. What's the point of having a healthy body on this earth if someone's gonna end up going to hell because of their sins against God? If someone was from the Lord, they would use their healing to point people to Jesus, to call them out for their sins and say, you've seen the power of God, repent of your sins and put your trust in the risen Christ. But he doesn't do that. So he just moved on. Eventually the conversation ended and the day continued on. And we spent about an hour of time together in total. My heart breaks that so many people have been deceived by Todd and others. I love him and I want nothing but the best for him. I pray that all Christians ministry would be focused on the spiritual healing that we have in Christ, which can never fail to happen when God gives it to us through faith in him. Like this video and subscribe for more high quality biblical content every two weeks.